Hi, my name is Dami Omotayo. Yeah, I live in Toronto, Canada. I am born and raised in Nigeria. Lagos in Nigeria. Omo Yoruba ni mi o eni te mi. Kilo shele gong gong. Omo Yoruba le mi o. I'm a fashion model here in Canada and also an art man. Um, I host events and all of that. <laughs> Me and Zami, we met like the beginning of this year. Um, my best friend wanted to come to Toronto to celebrate her birthday. So we all came and we were looking like for some African places for the weekend. And we found uh, this lounge. And so we went there and Zami was the MC at the lounge. I met Mel at the club where I work. And they were like, they just came and they were searching like um, what African club to go to. And um, they came across the plan. I'm like, yeah, we are the right place. He was basically making us feel so comfortable. Like he was dancing with us. He was taking drinks with us. Like he was really just like vibing with us. So we had a great time with him. When I saw her and her friends, I was like, yo, damn. I told my boy. Um, which was my manager. She is so fine. And uh, <laughs> it was like, well, yeah, go talk to her. Actually, you know, it was my friends who told me that, you know, like, he might like you. But I didn't, like, you know, I was oblivious to the fact, like, I was really just having fun with my girls. Like, I wasn't thinking about anybody or anything else. I just tried to have fun with them and um, go on Snapchat and Instagram so I can keep in touch with her. That night we exchanged Snapchat. Supposed to leave Sunday, but you know, he he was telling me to come back to the lounge Sunday night. So I convinced my girls to stay for, the, for another day. And then um, even though we all had work <laughs> at 7 a.m. on Monday morning, we still stayed that night um, and we went back to the States the next morning. <laughs> She's a she's a beautiful lady. I'm never gonna lie. Like she's so pretty, and um, well, I was just taking it slow, but I try to want to invite her out and um, just to get to know her. Since the beginning of this year now, like you know, we've kept in contact. But um, you know, I live in the states, but you told me you know, like you know, come and see me. Like you know, I really. I really want to see you. There's, you know, some things that I want to tell you and stuff. So, um, yeah, like I seem to be a really nice guy. So, you know, I don't didn't see any harm in it. So, yeah, so I'm going to see him this weekend. Pretty ladies like that, they're really, really scarce out there. And if you see one, you need to really, really hold on tight, you know. So I'm trying to take it next to the next level, you know. <laughs> I don't know, just trying to shoot my shirt. Demi is very caring, like he's a very nice guy, you know, like he's selfless, he puts others before him, you know, like he he really cares about the people around him, you know, sometimes even more than himself. I talk to other people as well, you know, like I have, you know, guys who have interested in me for a while and I really just like, I friends on a lot of them, like I don't really, I don't really feel like I'm ready for relationships. We're all building this game when someone is trying to friend zone you, you know, they start using the word, oh, my friend, that means my friend, you know, all of that. No, I don't want to end up like that because I experienced something like that. I had to lose that. So I, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to leave that friend zone situation. You know, I'm not even going to lie to myself. Like, you know, I think I, I, I might like him too, but I don't know. Like, it's still a question mark in my head. Dami would like post on his Snapchat, like, you know, the events that he'll be doing for the weekend. And like, I would always find an excuse to like, make my way over there. You no, know, when she tells me I want to come, like, I'm really, really excited that, oh, she really want to come? You know, cause like, it's like a mission driving all the way from the States to Toronto just to come turn up. But like, I was, I was so excited. I was like, okay, you know, 
Hello. Like this date that he's asked me to like, you know, come all the way here and like, you know, he has something to tell me and stuff like that. So I'm very nervous. Like, I don't know what to expect, but you know, I won't be surprised if he does ask me out. <laughs> to be honest, like I'm nervous, you know, I'm really, really nervous. So I don't really know how to go about it, but um, I'm gonna do it still. I'm gonna do it. We will see if this date brings clarity to the both of us <laughs> or not. Yo, yo, I feel off right now. Yo, 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 I'm good. Okay, okay, quick update. Yo, remember the girl I told you about? Mel? Yeah. So, yo, bro. So, now I'm kind of like, you know, go out, go out with her, but like, I'm very, really nervous, bro. So, bro, you, you like, know you've been talking about like all along, all along, like what's going on? <laughs> Stick on a date. Why are you? Okay, bro, bro. You act so scared and shit. Yeah. Like, get ready, bro. Yo, you want to lose this girl, bro? What's going on? Yo, where do where do you think I should take her to? Like, because right now I know. Take her on the proper date. She's cute. She's the way you want. So what else? I mean, after this date, you're gonna know where it's going. Obviously, like if it's really cold and hot, like you have to clear your intention. Tell her what you want. Be straightforward. Be open with conversation, and you know. Yo, you know where you stand, you know what I mean? Fab, that's why I always call you for advice, bro. Yes, I, yeah, yo, I, yo, just as usual and kill it, bro. You got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, me. Thank you. Respect, 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 respect. Okay, okay, now. All right, brother. Later. Talk to you later. How was, how was your ride down there? Good? Wasn't too stressful? It was a lot of traffic on the other side, but I almost fell asleep. I mean, the good thing is you you made it, right? You yeah, made it. I'm here. You actually look amazing. You, <laughs> Thank you. You look amazing. And I love what you wear. You're in black. First of all, he was late. Let's talk about that. Like, if this was anybody else, I would have left. Like, he was actually really late. But it's that me, so I just, you know, I waited for him. That was unusual of me, so... It was because I had like a, I had a, some event that I was doing, so I had to like rush down to the date. Yeah, I ordered for us already, actually. You did? Yeah. Can you guess what I ordered? Um, I know you're gonna think. Pound No, I didn't. <laughs> what? I ordered some jello. I oh. ordered jello for myself and then fried rice. Okay, that, that's good. I'm, okay. I'm I'm okay with that. Okay, I'm okay, okay with that. The place that we went, he picked the place. Like the food was really nice, you know. Um, he picked the place, but I picked like what we ate because he was so late. Like I just ordered the food already. Um, what do you like in a guy? What do I like in a guy? Yeah, like what? What, um, what do you like? He asked me like regular, you know, like date questions, and you know, I answered them. Like I asked him the same thing too, you know, like what do you like in a woman? Like what do you do on your free time? Just like regular dating questions. I mean, I just like a nice guy, like. I like a sweet guy, you know, like a gentleman, you know, someone who can open my door for me, someone who can take care of me. You see, that's the problem with ladies. Because if you're gentle, you're soft, they'd be like, oh, this guy is too, you know, it's too soft. But like, you know, I don't know, you know. You know, like I want to be like a little princess, you know, like. Ah, <laughs> like a coin. Yeah, very much like, you know, soft life. Mm, yeah. Soft life. Wow. That's yeah, good. I don't, I don't require it too much, I don't think. Because I know lately, ladies be like, you know, if he doesn't, if he makes more than I do, or if he doesn't make more than I do, I don't want it, you know? So. When Dami was telling me, like, he doesn't want a woman who makes more money than him, like, I didn't mind it. Like, me too, I like my man to make more money than me. So it's, <laughs> I think it will work perfect, honestly. Like, I like to be taken care of. And if I can take care of myself, I know I can take care of my partner too. So. And what about you? You ask me all these questions. What about you? What do you like in a woman? In your woman? First and foremost, I love food. 
So oh, yeah? he better know how to cook. The first thing that he said was he likes a woman that can cook. So I asked him, I said, so you want your woman to just be in the house cooking and cleaning all day for you? Like, that's not my vibe, but like, <laughs> I mean, I can cook, but I'm not Nigerian, so I can't cook Nigerian food. She needs to be clean, like, clean. make sure house is tidy yeah. and all of that, you know. Tell me, what else you like in your woman other than her cooking for you? Um, I really love a God-fearing woman. A God fearing woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like a God fearing woman. You didn't even ask us to pray before we ate. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just like, are you really this type of man? Like, are you really a Christian or are you just saying it just to look nice because it's the first day and you know that I am Christian, so you just want to say like that you like a woman who can pray? Are you just trying to like appeal to me or what? No, no, no. No, that probably skipped my mind because mm -hmm. I was too busy looking at the beautiful mm -hmm. dance in front of me. For real. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's oh, so cold. I know. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for um, honoring my invitation. Towards the end of the day, like when we're leaving, you know, I still like didn't see the reason that I came all the way out here. So, you know, I asked Dami, like, what was so important that you had to ask me or what was like, what is the main reason that you want me to come out here? She was like, yo, Dami, just say it. You know, she really want me to say something. You know, that I can feel it, you know. You know when a girl likes you, you know, they want you to to say what they want to hear. You know, and me I was nervous. I'm not even gonna lie to even say it, you know. But that's a sign that she likes me. So other than like <laughs> you inviting me to dinner, like you oh, have something like I had new, I knew you said you this was a special there. night, so <laughs> Yeah, pretty much it's a it's a like a special night. I'm okay. not even gonna lie, you know. But uh, uh, um, is it bad like bad news? Like what no, is it? No, no, no. So what's taking it, what? you so long? Like no, it's it's not. It's you're not, making me nervous. It's not a bad news, but uh, you know I really like you, right? Yes, I really, 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 really I like, like you. you. Mm, for real? Oh, uh, you're just saying that because I'm saying it. Dami, what do you need to say? You like me. I like you. Um, he was just taking his time, like actually wasting my time. Like he couldn't say it, he was stuttering, like and so I just had to like ask him like why am I here? Like what do you what do you have to say that's so important? You know I like you, right? Mm -hmm. Like really really like you. You know. And we'll be talking for like a for like a minute now, but um yeah, I don't just want to be in the friend zone anymore. I just want to take you further, like, I... And, you know, he finally grew the balls, <laughs> and he said he wanted me to be his. I want, like, wa want you to be... I want you to be mine. Oh. Dummy! He actually said that. He didn't even give me a chance to answer. He even came and kissed me. Can you believe that? I want you to be mine. Oh. Dummy! Like, I never thought Dami was the type of person like that. Like, yeah, it kind of seemed like he was, like, sexualizing me for a second, talking about, oh, like, breast and bum and all that stuff. Like, but I never thought he was the type to just, like, kiss me without my consent or just, like, you know, act so, you know, out of character. At the end, yo, I just slap her. Hi, Jesus. When I kissed her, you know, she looked and kissed me back which means i don't know why she was she was still mad and that but i don't understand you know if i kiss you and you look he kiss me back and still like what do you want i don't know what she want what does she want you know take me home now so sorry pretty much like after the um dinner we like i drove her home when i dropped her even while i was still driving she was still kind of like acting mad i would say acting because like i don't think she's really mad because like you know but yeah she was even when i dropped her off she she was like have a good night and boom 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 but i know deep inside she like you know, the... <laughs> you get the vibe i don't know if he was just like shy or just like 
I don't know, but it didn't it didn't seem like dummy to do that. Like it was very out of character. Yeah, maybe it was just like really bad, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, did I overreact? Like, what would you do? Like, would you give him a second chance or like would you, you know, go on a second date with him? I think there's gonna be a second chance because like, you know, just follow up talk, give her some sweet talk, you know, just apologize. Uh, if she liked me, we'll dive into it, you get. <laughs> Yeah, like he was basically taking his sweet time and like saying all this stuff and then like all of a sudden he was just like, oh, I want you to be mine. And then he kissed me like literally outside in front of like everybody. And so like, I was just like really shocked. So, was like, it like a full on kiss or just like a peck? I mean, it was, yeah, it was like really quick, like a peck because like I literally like backed right up down. and slapped him. Yeah. Slap him yeah, I slapped him? Yeah, I slapped him. In front of everybody? I mean, outside, yeah, not not in the restaurant, but like outside, oh, okay. yeah, like, yeah, I slapped him, and then I just walked away. Was it like a horse slap, like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know. If, <laughs> I think it kind of was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It wasn't that like I wouldn't want to kiss Dummy, but it's just like it really caught me off guard. So, I mean, maybe in the future, like if it was like an actual, you know, like kiss, and like we both were like ready to do that, like. I wouldn't have pushed him away or slapped him, but the way he did it was just, it wasn't nice at all. Did you guys like talk after no. when you guys go, got home? No? no? What did you guys do? You we went? didn't talk about it. He had another gig to do. Like he had to go straight to two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Did you go with him? I had to go with him, oh, but we still didn't yeah. talk about it. Mm. If I have to rate this day with Dummy, like, I'd probably give it a five or something because I think if I'm going to um, like rate myself on a scale of one to ten, but because I was late, you know, and for first eight, me being late, that's that's not nice. That's really, really, really not nice. Ah, <laughs> but you know, as a sweet boy like me, and kind of went well. Let's minus the last part where I had to like initiate the kiss. I'll give myself eight. Eight. You know, the place was really nice. You know, points for the for the location, points for the food. The food was really good. And points for, you know, like, it just being dummy. Like, you know, I'm very comfortable with him. Like, so the conversation really did flow. But everything after that is just zero, like, minus, minus, minus. <laughs> one for being late and the other one for initiating the kiss, which is two. So minus ten. Eight. And of course, kissing me without my consent that's just yeah so five five overall and we'll see if he even gets another day at this point i kind of like the fact that she slapped me you know because like on the next date it might not be slapped this time around it might be like the actual fresh kiss you know i think you should because you guys just like, you know, go about it. Me knowing you, you're not literally just gonna like keep it in your head. And him being him, we actually don't know. Dami future is question mark at the moment. <laughs> like, actually. <laughs> so, usually when I like someone, it's kind of like, I'm kind of like shy, nervous to like say some certain stuff. But normally, if I don't like you, or um, I go para, I de change out for anybody, you know, normally now, damn it, but you get. It, it just didn't fit the vibe. Like, I, I would prefer something where it's, you know, like, we go on a romantic day, we both understand that, you know, like, this is what we want. And yeah, like, it can happen naturally like that, but just saying, oh, I like you, and then trying to kiss me, like, no, it, no, it can't happen like that. Yeah, I'll try another date. I'll try another date and um, see what like where that is gonna go you know um, yeah but i don't know i like her but we'll see we'll see